Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about lesson 7.5, scale drawings. You're going to be doing a lot with proportions here, so just remember um, those types of questions, cross multiplying and dividing to solve. Make sure you have your notes, go ahead and label them 7.5 scale drawings, and then the things you're looking for today are eight different things, so go to number from one through eight, and maybe leave a little bit of extra room for numbers one, two, three, and seven, because you're going to be writing some definitions down in vocabulary. Let's get started. So here's your first page. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to pause the video. You're just essentially copying everything, one, two, three, as well as, I'm going to scoot this over so you can see, um, as well as these examples down here of how you draw a scale. Okay, so make sure you do all of the words and how to draw a scale. So go ahead and take the time now to pause and then press play when you're ready to go on. So these are just gonna, you're just gonna watch how to do these. Um, how to find the actual dimensions using proportions to solve, and it gives you this already. The scale is one centimeter to four feet. So on the previous slide, you just saw that you can write, excuse me, a scale like this, one centimeter over four feet. And then you line that up to the information that's given to you. And number one, I'm given seven centimeters. Remember with proportions, if I did centimeters over feet here, I will also have to do centimeters over feet here. Um, seven is gonna go with centimeters, so seven will go on top. I don't know the feet, so I'm gonna write an X. I'm gonna cross multiply to start solving. One centimeter times X is one X, and four times seven is 28. I could have actually just written X right here, but for the sake of just reviewing, I'm gonna divide by one. X will be equal to 28 feet, okay? Same thing in number two. You're still using the same scale, one centimeter, over four feet is 10.5 centimeters over X feet, which we don't know yet. I'm gonna cross multiply again. This time I'm just gonna say one times X is X, because that's essentially what it means. I do have to come over here and show my work for 10.5 times four. So that's 20, carry my two, four times zero, four times one. And then moving my decimal one time, we get 42, so x is equal to 42 feet, okay? Then these two you're going to try. Again, make sure that you're using proportions to solve. So I maybe can go ahead and help you set these up. One centimeter over four feet, again using the same scale, is equal to 30 centimeters over x feet. I'm gonna go and start you setting up on number four. You're gonna finish number four by yourself as well as number five. Once you're done, you click play, but for now, go ahead and pause it so you can try questions four and five. Number six, we're gonna look at together. You're still going to write in your notes. This one, it says find the missing dimension, use a scale factor one to eight. So this is still going to be your scale, one to eight. When that is written without any units, we're actually gonna talk about this on the next slide, that just means the first number is the model, and the second one is the actual. Okay, so I know the model is gonna be written in centimeters. Actual probably would be maybe actual centimeters. Um, the model length is given as six centimeters, so six centimeters is equal to how many actual centimeters? Again, cross multiplying to solve here. One times x is one x. Eight times six is 48. And then divide both sides by one. x is equal to 48 centimeters. Okay, so that one did not have any units with it, but you still solve it the same way. Here's your um, next definition. It's scale factor. It says scale factor is when a scale can be written without units. You have to convert the units to the same measurement to do this. You're going to watch me do this, and then you can pause it. 
So if the scale is given to you like this, two inches to three feet, and you have to write a scale factor, you cannot write it like this. That is not scale factor. The reason is, is because you have inches and you have feet. They need to be written without units, and to do that, you have to convert the units to the same measurement. It would be a lot easier if I can just convert everything to inches. So I'm going to convert to inches. Two inches is already in inches, so I can just rewrite two inches. Three feet is not. Remember, one foot equals 12 inches. So if I have three feet, three feet times 12 is 36 inches. Here is scale factor because it's written in the same units. The only thing now I just have to do is simplify. So 2 over 36 simplifies down to 1 18th. Okay, so scale factor is just basically converting both those numbers to the same units. So I'm going to go ahead and give you time now to pause the video. Oops. So that you can go ahead and copy in your notes. And then once you're done, click play. So here's an example of a scale factor question. You're just going to watch this one. A scale factor of the Sergeant Floyd monument is 10 inches tall, and the actual monument is 100 feet tall. What's the scale of the model? Remember, scale just represents how the drawing compares to the actual amount, and it is okay for those to be in different units. So 10 inches is the drawing or the model, and 100 feet is the actual amount. Okay, so this would be considered the scale. Letter B says, though, what is the scale factor? And remember, scale factor is going to be a simplified fraction in the same unit. So right now I'm starting off with 10 inches to 100 feet. I need to make sure that they are in the same units. Right now I have feet and inches. So what I'm going to have to do is put them convert both to inches. Okay. 10 inches is already there, so I don't have to change that at all, but 100 feet is not. Remember, 1 foot equals 12 inches, so if I have 100 feet, I'm just going to multiply that by 12. That will be 1,200 inches. Now I've got this fraction 10 over 1,200. Simplest form would we'll take it to 1 over 120. Okay? So... The next one you're going to try by yourself. This one says a drawing has a scale of 1 millimeter to 20 centimeters. What is the scale factor of the drawing? And remember, scale factor is the simplified fraction, and it has to have the same units. Right now, this one, this 1 millimeter to 10 centimeters is not in the same, oops, not that, that one, 1 millimeter to 20 centimeters right here is not in the same unit. So what you have to do is convert them both to maybe millimeters. So what you're going to have to do is convert these both to millimeters. Here's your hint right here. One millimeter, sorry, one, oh my word, mess that up. One centimeter gives you 10 millimeters. So if you have 20 centimeters, how many millimeters would that be? Go ahead and convert and make sure you simplify your fraction for number 8. It has to be correct before you bring it to me to get your homework. Go ahead and take the time now to pause and try. All right, this is going to conclude our notes, so just make sure you have questions 1 through 8 answered that you can show me, and then you're going to get your worksheet from me and begin working on it because that is your homework for tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in.